we have responsibilities with our social safety nets to make sure that the people who are doing the work in our communities, who are working jobs and then lose them, or the people who are anchors in our communities by being homeowners and then at threat to losing them. Those people need to get support and we cannot, cannot let them fall through the cracks. And that's exactly what's happening right now and that's exactly what I want to be able to do as we begin. I'm going to call this number out again. If you want to step up right here, this is the number for people to call if you are a homeowner who may be in danger of losing your home. This is where you can get assistance to help you that's based on the COVID relief funds that our government put out there, $350 million we put out so that people can save their homes and stay in their homes. And we have an obligation to make sure that everyone can take advantage of that. As you heard previously, only 30% of the 18,000 families or people who, are, uh, who had submitted applications before the big snafu happened um, have reapplied. That means 12,000, at a minimum, 12,000 families who filed applications are out there and hanging out in the air with no way for us to catch them. And that's, that's got to stop. So we do have to make sure that the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency administers this fund now in a way that gets to the most people and gets to everyone in order to keep people in homes. Because when we keep people in their homes, people are able to be that stabilizing uh, force in their neighborhoods, in their communities. That is where children are housed and grow up. If kid doesn't have a, a home because their family is left homeless, all of the, the indicators of their social uh, indicators of health will go down, and we need to make sure that we're protecting them.